Okay, now we've got this PS4 1215. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing put back together. So we're gonna go ahead and start by putting the motherboard in. Now there's two things you gotta be careful of on this. Number one is if you've recently done anything with the HDMI port, then you've got this little metal piece that needs to go back on here. Uh, the first few that I did, I forgot to put this on. So then I had to disassemble it and put it back on, partially disassemble it, I didn't have it all the way together. So we got that on, and then you gotta make sure and put some new fresh thermal paste on, which we've already done since we've had this apart several times, we've got that on there already. So what we're gonna do, now this works just like the older models. The motherboard is gonna slide in the back first, and the top's gonna go down just like that. Fan connector you can just grab with your fingers and push right in there, same with the optical drive connector that goes right on the edge over here. This is just a push-in connector. So you want to uh, grab on this blue part here because that's a real thick piece of plastic so it's easy to push in that way. Okay, next we need to put our APU clamp back on. So make sure and put the spacer in first. Then the clamp itself goes on. We're going to screw this most of the way down with an electric screwdriver and then we'll finish it off with a regular screwdriver just because I don't want these these screws to get too tight. So that's good. They need to be nice and snug but you don't need to overdo it. Okay so now that's on. The next thing we need to do is put our metal shield back on. So you always want to make sure that there's no um, thermal pads stuck here, or it's fine if they are, you just need to make sure they're in the right locations. If there's one that's doubled up or something, then um, that could be bad for the RAM chip. So we're gonna go ahead and install this on here, like that. There's a locating pin there and a locating pin there. So that helps you get it on there correctly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the power button right now so I don't forget about it. So we're just gonna go, whoops, gonna make sure you get it in there correctly. That was putting it on upside down there. And that just slides right in and there's a hook that just hooks into that hole right there. So now the next thing is we're gonna go ahead and put this piece on right here. This is for the battery screw. We're gonna put that on right away so we don't forget it. And then this plastic piece has a locating pin right here in the corner. You just put that on there, let it slide down there. And this one uses the two T8 screws. So we're gonna put that on there. Just like that. All right, so the next thing is we're gonna put this metal piece on and it goes right there like that. Now there's a, a metal locating pin on this one. So you gotta make sure that's on there correctly. And then there's several screws that go on this one. Now these are gonna be the small screws and one of them goes right here. So that one goes right there. And then we've got a um, black screw that goes right in here. It screws down into metal so you know it's not gonna be the T8. That one goes right there. And then we got another small Phillips screw that goes down here. And then we've got a T8 that goes on this edge. As you can see, it can be quite confusing if you're not used to how these go. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill out the black screws. We know where those go. First of all, because we have a picture of it if needed, we do have one of those. And second of all, because the black screws are machine screws, that's the type of thread they have, and they thread down into metal only. So we've got two more here. One goes here. And one more goes right over here by this black plastic piece. Okay, and then we've got the three silver screws that go here, here, and here in the back. So we're gonna go ahead and install those now. And last 
last one. Okay, so all we're left with now is all of the screws that are the T8 screws. So we're gonna go ahead and not put one in there. That's the one that will go on after we get the top case on. So after you get all your other screws in, you know that the only, the only screws left and the only thing that goes in these holes are the T8 security screws. So you can just go real quickly and fill in all the spaces. It's good to double check to make sure you didn't put one in the wrong place, but the rest of the spaces are gonna be the T8. Okay, so it looks like that's about all of those. I'm gonna go ahead and put the hard drive back in. Now remember this one, the older models, they have the hard drive flipped the other way. This one, the hard drive is kind of uh, upside down like this, so it's gonna go on like this. Flip that over, it just goes right in like that. We got the same little screw that the old models had. So we went ahead and got that in there. So now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna start by installing the optical drive. So this one, we gotta make sure everything slides in here correctly. Gonna make sure this cable's out of the way. There's a locating pin here and a locating pin over here. It looks like those are the only two. So we're gonna go ahead and put this cable in so we don't forget. Now this uh, small green board can move around on you, so you gotta put some pressure on it there. Okay, now the next thing is we're gonna route this Wi-Fi antenna cable up through here. Let's actually install it on here first. And then we can see right where the slots are for routing the cable. Right there. We got that all on there. And then down in where the where the power supply goes, there's also two two little uh, slots where this cable goes through and then we just push it right on here. So let's go ahead and get these screws in here. They're gonna be the T8s. So it looks like there's five screws, one on each corner and then one right here, right there for the Wi-Fi antenna. Oops. Okay, it looks like we got all those on there. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the cables in, the ribbon cables for the optical drive. Now for this uh, long one, you gotta remember this black connector needs to be pulled all the way up. It's like a, it, it locks down once you get the cable in there, but you gotta make sure it's not locked before you're putting it in. So we're put, gonna put it down in there and then push on each side of it and that locks it in place. Another thing you can do is there is a black line on these ribbon cables. You can make sure that black line is even and right about uh, even with the black connector and that'll that'll tell you whether it's in there correctly or not So then just this little connector this little ribbon cable cable I mean goes in and we're already there So it looks like everything's good here. We're gonna install the power supply next So we push in the main four wire connector and then this just goes down like this. I'm gonna wiggle it and slide it a little bit and just kind of wiggle it in there until it feels like it's in where it should and then we just push it down. And then this gets installed. This one's got the two long Phillips screws. And 
And if you, you start screwing these down and you notice that one of them is not getting tight, then you may need to go back and check and make sure that small metal piece that this screws into is there. Because it's easy to lose that piece. So now we've got the three T8 security torques for the power supply next. Really throwing these screws around today. Okay, so that's all in there. Everything looks correct. There's nothing sticking up funny. All the screws are there. So now we're gonna go ahead and install the lower case. So we just start in the back, slide it on, and then push it down and you're, just gonna, you're gonna hear a click. So that clicks it on, and now it's locked in place with these tabs on each side. So now, We've got the upper cover, so we're gonna put it on in the back, start in the back, and then we're gonna snap it down on the corner, and then snap it down here. And then we've got two more screws right here, the T8s that go in here. Okay, and then we've got our, our uh, hard drive cover just snaps in place. We're gonna flip this over and install the two T8 black screws that go in the back. And it's done. If you guys have any qu questions or need any help with yours or if you need to send it in for repair, feel free to leave me a comment. You can also go to our website, tronicsfix.com and let us know there and we'd be happy to help you.